Here is meteorologist Rachel Garceau with your Idaho News 6 forecast. 645 now on our Monday. Let's take a look at our temperature trend from the past seven days here, there and everywhere. A week ago today we were at 86 degrees. Remember that summer like heat and then it was all downhill from there until we only hit 55 on Friday. We rebounded a little bit over the weekend and as we look ahead at the next five days, remember our typical daytime highs. We approach the end of May and Memorial Day weekend is about 75 degrees in Boise. It takes until Thursday to see above average temperatures and that doesn't last long as we have another little slide here on Friday. Tomorrow though is shaping up to be our coolest day of the extended period and here's how we're kicking things off this morning. We are a little bit overcast out there and some of these clouds could drop a sprinkle or two at times this morning. So there is a slim chance of a shower in the Boise area and in the mountains today. We are at 50 degrees in the city of trees right now. That is very typical for the morning of May 24th, even though our afternoon highs will be cooler than average. As we look across the Pacific Northwest, remember we do not have our radar capabilities in Boise at the moment. Radar gives us our precipitation picture. Satellite gives us our cloud picture. So you put both of those together. That's how we get a really good idea of kind of what's going on. We are seeing plenty of precipitation pushing onto the uh, West Coast right now. Seattle and Portland are in for a soggy Monday. This will be on our doorstep tomorrow, triggering some showers and some isolated thunderstorms on Tuesday afternoon drying up by Wednesday. So here's our Monday, mostly cloudy across our mountains. This chance of some off and on showers. We'll see some clouds and some sun here in the Treasure Valley. A couple of stray showers possible throughout the morning hours and into this afternoon. Tomorrow morning, look at Baker City in particular, a very messy start there. We'll likely see some quick bursts of rain in the, our mountains early tomorrow, and then all of this continues to fill in in the afternoon. There is a decent chance of thunderstorm activity between maybe 3 to 7 o'clock tomorrow. So afternoon, early evening hours where that sunshine breaks through. We'll have instability in play that could trigger some quick downpours, gusty winds, some grapple as well, and temperatures cool tomorrow before finally warming up again for the middle of the week. So Tuesday looks to be our most active day of the week, especially in the valleys. Today may not look all that nice. We'll likely have partly to mostly cloudy skies, but temperatures on the up and up compared to yesterday. So 72 for Ontario, 68 to 69 around Nampa, Caldwell and Boise this afternoon. Off and on showers for the Boise Mountains and the West Central Mountains. Not a washout of a Monday, but still dodging raindrops a little bit at times today. 51 from McCall, 55 degrees in Cascade. Very high snow levels during the day today and even into tomorrow. We see those snow levels still hovering around 7,500 feet, so it will be rain today and tomorrow below that uh, elevation. 57 for Sun Valley today. A little breezy in the Magic Valley, but not quite as chilly as our Sunday. We only hit 58 yesterday in Twin Falls. We'll add almost 10 degrees of warmth today. All right, so cool unsettled tomorrow and then Wednesday Thursday beautiful warm-up up to 80 degrees on Thursday a little cooler for Friday but still dry and perfectly pleasant through the Memorial Day weekend up to 81 again by Sunday.